everyone welcome to another week of try something new tuesday this week before we start i wanted to share my first video endorsement by my friends leslie and ava they are so cute they are doing they are doing try something new tuesday and they said that i inspire them and it just warms my heart because someone more than my mom is watching Hey Camp Unicorner, so we are here to try something new on a Tuesday. We were inspired by Linda Eats World, follow her. She does these great videos where she tries something new with a friend. And now I'm going to share two mini Zoom dates that are centered around trying something new. Um, the first one is with my friend Kiera. We both were dropped off coffee gifts from Slingshot. So our first conversations with Kiera and our next conversation after that is my friend Trevor. He and I will be trying new to us snacks in our own apartments over Zoom. And I hope you enjoy the next two mini conversations. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. So um, I wanted to hop on with you to try new to us coffee. I am yes. assuming it's new to you because it's just released today. Yes. I haven't tried it, it yet. <laughs> tried it. It's um, super, super pumped to try Yay. it. Yay! Okay, well, should we pop a can? <laughs> yeah, are we supposed to shake it? I don't think so. I wouldn't say no. Let's shake not shake well it. Before. Okay. Oh, does okay. it say shake? <laughs> Is it shake well? Oh, yes. <laughs> Way to read the directions. Well, I never read the directions. <laughs> I was like, I just want to make sure that we're getting the best of the best. So I guess... <laughs> You just like, outed me as someone who never reads the directions. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. I hope it doesn't go everywhere. That's the thing. It, it, it popped a little, it fizzed a little bit. <laughs> okay. I did it. What color straw did they give you? They gave me pink. <gasps> I'm jealous. <laughs> Let's trade. I, I like, I, okay, we could trade. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. So we ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, let me turn around. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> like it? I really like it. Mommy. It's smooth. Mm -hmm. I like it because I feel like I don't need anything else with it. You know? Yes. I, um, if we poured it out, I might like into a class, I might like actually just do a hint of um, half and half for me because I'm a yeah. baby and I like dairy with my um, coffee. But yeah, it's delightful. It's, it is really good. It doesn't need it. What else would you add to it? Just the, some dairy? I am not a barista, so I will just embarrass myself if I talk any further. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe um, I like it because it's, it's almost like, oh, Miles is trying. <laughs> Now, to the camera. Exactly. You want to try? <laughs> did you like it, Miles? He didn't. He didn't really try it. I think he got it. I think he got like a little whiff of the like. You know how you can get like a little hint of it. He was like, <laughs> Yeah, it's a. It's like in between having a black coffee and then having a coffee with like creamer. It's creamer. somewhere in the yeah. middle. Yeah. yeah. And I guess the nitro is Why like. They put coffee. In supposed it? to be kind of like your little aunt, yeah. right? <laughs> um so would you would you drink this again I would I would just like you very similar to you I would probably add milk um I would probably want it in like a I guess a latte I guess a cold brew mm -hmm. latte in a, um, in a cup but I would drink it again it's really good like I said I can it kind of mm -hmm. like what you said it tastes it's a taste between just black coffee and then a you know yeah some dairy in it so I think it's pretty good Thank you so much to Slingshot for giving us a boost this morning. I um, wanted to keep you on for a few more minutes and ask you a few questions, if that's okay with you. Yeah. So it's gonna be a quick fire style. Um, we are in day a million of million. quarantine life. Uh, what has been your favorite quarantine snacks? So I recently discovered this pimento cheese. 
um, and I got it. I get it from Wegmans, and I normally eat it with some uh, crostinis, and so I can literally eat the pimento cheese and the crostini like all day, and like it takes me only two days to eat it. And the container's like you know like that, and probably like that thing. And I'm like, I probably shouldn't have done that, but I do not regret it. So that <laughs> I will have to look for it. So it's pimento cheese from Wegmans. Yes, um, and I think it's called palmetto because that's where it's made okay. um and there is a lady on the front so you can't miss it it's on okay. the end <laughs> um, but it's so good so i now that i think about it i ran out i'm like i probably should go get, get some more i love it i'm gonna look for it i still haven't been it's not terrible it's terrible it's not it's it's at first i was like why did i go and then now it's like the store that i choose because it's right next to trader joe's so gotcha. The second question is, what has been your favorite quarantine purchase? Hmm. I really haven't bought, like, much. Um, but my husband has been on this whole Alexa thing. And so <laughs> while we've been quarantined, like, our whole house is filled with Alexa stuff. Um, and I would say he got me the bigger one to go in the kitchen. And so I can look at recipes on it. You know, That's awesome story for miles on it etc um so yeah I think he bought it but it benefits me so <laughs> yeah, it's been your favorite have it's you tried my... whispering at Alexa because I don't have an Alexa but I've seen on TikTok that people whisper yeah to it. <laughs> and she whispers, she whispers to miles it's so creepy you know, she'll play tic-tac-toe with you she'll whisper with you while you play hide and seek oh um, my gosh <laughs> and it's almost like she's like we're doing this and you're like yeah Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like uh, an episode of Black Mirror, the house is a character. <laughs> um, okay, so this one is for you and also for Miles, your favorite quarantine activity. What's your favorite quarantine activity, Miles? Being home. Yeah. <laughs> what have you enjoyed doing? Um, playing, uh, playing Star Wars on the PlayStation. That he sounds plays, awesome. He plays Star Wars on the PlayStation. <laughs> Is um, that your favorite activity too, Kira? <laughs> no. That's <laughs> <laughs> my favorite activity. Um, you know, I feel like I've been cooking a lot um, because we normally eat out a lot. and Well, not a lot. Like we would try to eat out like maybe twice a week, mm -hmm. but I've been pretty much cooking often. And so that has become one of my favorite activities and just my time to be by myself too. That's amazing. Um, so I've enjoyed it. And Miles says it's not an activity. It is an activity. It is, it's an activity, Miles. Like I... <laughs> and you benefit from it, Miles. She feeds you. Oh, he says the activity is like a board game. Oh. <laughs> but if, if, if I could choose an activity, I would choose Connect Four. Like if that was something... Because yeah. we play that at the dinner table. <laughs> I love that. Um, and then my last is, is less uh, quarantine related, but I just wanted to hear more about your blog and why you started it, if you have any um, anything you want to share about it. Yeah, so uh, my blog is uh, The Banana Moon, and I came up with the name um, because of Miles. Mm -hmm. um, when, he, when we would be outside at night, he would call the moon, um, the crescent moon, a banana. Um, and so I was like, you know, at first I used to be like, it's not a banana. And then... <laughs> I had to stop myself because I was stopping him from being, from imagining and mm -hmm. um, having play, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of took that on and was like, yeah, you're right. It is a banana. It's whatever you want it to be. Um, and so he came up with the name and then I kind of just added like the banana moon. And so it's just, it's motherhood, lifestyle, it's pretty much lifestyle, but I, I talk it. about motherhood, culture, food, travel, um, all while keeping miles in mind while mm -hmm. doing it. Um, just because I feel like when they're so young, it's the perfect time to pour into them. Um, for example, like trying the cold brew, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'll be like, sure, try it. You at least want to say that you tried it and you didn't like it rather yeah. than you try it. Yeah. And so that's kind of what I've been doing and then using that platform to just kind of find my voice because um as a mom and a wife it's easy to kind of you know yeah lost in so, the roles yeah and so I kind of live outside of that I'm like hey that. 
And Miles wants to travel to Columbia. I'm like, okay, let's go, you know, and not <gasps> feel like I would, not saying that you would go there, but I'm just saying, you know, like how we choose places to travel. Yes. Yeah. And so just living outside of that and finding my voice in that um, and being okay with um, living outside the norms of what it means to be a mother and a wife. So, yeah. I love that. That's beautiful. And Miles, you're so lucky. You have a mom that lets you play and explore. It's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you both for your time. I cannot wait to finish my can of coffee so I can fully wake up. <laughs> oh, I know. It's, I love the color too. It's so nice. It is. It's very aesthetically pleasing, the can. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan for packaging. Um, thank you again for trying something new with me. I, um, I love your face. I can't wait mm -hmm. to continue to watch what you do with your blog and, and follow along. Miles, I hope your arm heals quickly. Thank you so much for your time. What do you say? I can touch my shoulders too. You oh, mean? yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Bye. Have a great day. Bye. 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 <laughs> Hi, Trevor. Hello. So if you guys don't recognize his face because he had VR gear on his face last time he was on my channel, Trevor was the guy, if you go back to your videos, where he was squealing. Can I say squealing? Is that safe and diplomatic? Yelling? <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know. uh, oh my God. You know uh, what? Rats. <laughs> the two Whatever. of us, we just don't like the thought of rats. No. No. <laughs> Well, um, I'm happy to have you here. We're doing a try something new virtual reaction kind of way or virtual way. And I have a uh, brown sugar boba ice cream popsicle that I've been meaning to try. And then you have a new to you treat and I've never had it either. Yes, I have the sea salt vegetable. Ooh, <laughs> the makeup <laughs> trick. Sea salt, sea salt vegetable potato and vegetable snack Ooh. that I got from, this is not sponsored, right? Yeah, not, not sponsored, sponsored by Target. <laughs> I got it from Target. It's by Good and Gather. I'm not sure if that's Ooh. a Target brand or not, but. Uh, so you picked it, why? I picked it because I liked the, um, I like the packaging. I'm a designer, so I'm attracted to beautiful, um, well-designed things. Um, and so I was really intrigued by the, the, the typography and the color choices but also that. then I saw these and I was like oh that's strange and interesting so I just got it. I um, have had vegetable chips before but not that those kinds and I've never seen it blown up that way. Typically they are not uh, marketed that way they're marketed as a group like not separated and zoomed in so kudos on the packaging. Shall we dig in? <laughs> we shall. So mine melted in the freezer and then reshaped itself. <laughs> so it's not as pretty. And actually part of it broke in the bag. <laughs> it's Whoa. usually prettier than this. <laughs> it's, it's still I like said it's still it. tasty. <laughs> uh, so what's interesting is that it doesn't tell you the different flavors, I don't think. Um, so I'm guessing but, the orange one is carrots, maybe? Well, I see tomatoes and potatoes and some kind of leaf thing, but anyway, and what's crazy is that I thought, <laughs> <laughs> I thought the, the potatoes were um, watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> it says veggies. <laughs> Well, I mean, I just, I was like, oh, well, maybe they're being um, equal opportunist and trying to loop in the fruits or something. I don't know. Anyway. I, okay. I left mine out for 15 minutes and mine are a little lumpy, but it's delicious. I keep feeling drips on my thighs and it's not me. It's actually my dog drooling on me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, give me some. Is that Bob? It's Neva. Oh, hey, Neva. I would invite her up after I eat. <laughs> Should I be giving like um, an account for each one? Yeah, oh. tell me. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> the green one, whatever that was, um, it was really good. 
um, tastes like vegetable, but it also tastes like, tastes like um, Pringles. Ooh, I love Pringles. No, not Pringles, Funyuns. So Ooh, the, like texture, the texture is like Funyuns also. Um, they definitely added a little bit of, yeah, they added sea salt for sure. Yum, I love chips. You love that? This is delicious. So because I kind of had it melt a little bit cause I didn't, I don't like a hard popsicle. But I left it out too much and so it tastes like soft serve now. And the balls inside, actually, do you remember your first boba? I just, I'm just humble bragging. <laughs> I introduced that Trevor was... to his first bubble tea. Yeah. The balls are still soft despite <laughs> it being a popsicle. <laughs> Hashtag balls. Um, that was our first friend date. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we met on YouTube and now we're on YouTube together again <laughs> it just never ends the party never ends but at our friend date we also met at target so full circle oh my gosh oh yeah we did yeah we just walked across the parking lot so yeah. we had bubble tea in austin at coca's in case you guys are wondering mm -hmm. most of my friends who are the only people watching youtube right now are from austin <laughs> right <laughs> oh this is delightful i'm quite pleased so I had the red one or the, mm, I had the yellow one and it tasted the same as the green one. And now I'm having the <laughs> orange one. I have to do the beauty, beauty tube the thing. <laughs> I love it. It actually works. <laughs> yeah. uh, the orange one, it's really good. Yum. Really good. So next time well, you go to an Asian market, add these to your, your haul. They're the brown sugar boba ice cream bar. Okay, brown okay. sugar. Okay, if it's brown sugar, then I'm definitely in. Mm -hmm. I don't, so I enjoyed our first date, but I have a confession to make. You don't like the balls. I don't like the balls. <laughs> I like the tea part. Ironically, <laughs> uh, okay, anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, I like the tea part. It's really good. Okay. Okay. So maybe you shouldn't get these because they do definitely have the balls in here. Yeah. But it was delightful. I do recommend what I got for anyone who likes bubble tea. It is really weird how well the balls stayed soft. Oh my gosh, I love your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, so would you recommend your veggie? I would. Um, so I picked these up also because I'm a sugar person. Mm -hmm. I, I was really craving cookies last night. Mm -hmm. And at like 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. I tend to work really late, <clears throat> which is really bad for your diet, I hear. To like, you know, Sorry. be all over the place. Quit it, Neva. She's drinking too loudly. <laughs> <laughs> She's thirsty. Um, but I was really craving cookies. And I was like, you know, I kind of was guilting myself a little bit or being ashamed of that. And so I was like, well, what can I have in place of cookies? And then I was going to get uh, tortilla chips because I'm making guacamole um, later. And I was like, you know, this will, these will be kind of like a good snack to have, yeah. you know, finger food. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny because um in our friendship I put me in the salty snacker and you in the sweet snacker, but in this video we're switching switching That's roles. <laughs> well, all part of trying something new. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm doing some rapid uh questions to ask. I did this with the other blogger that I had on that hopefully I will put together. Um so it's gonna be quick. You don't have to think too hard about it, hopefully. Oh I love that you have like a palate cleanser. Yes. Um, first one, I'm going from memory, is your favorite quarantine snack. Like what's your favorite snack during this time? <laughs> <laughs> so my beauty, my beauty pageant answer is the um, grapes and carrots that I buy from the grocery store. Okay, healthy. Eat those grapes. Mm -hmm. um, my real 
uh, <laughs> devil on the shoulder answer is mm -hmm. that um, <laughs> I've been stress eating a lot of uh, Dairy Queen blizzards lately. <gasps> Lucky you. You have Dairy Bad. Queen. <laughs> Y'all don't, don't have any in North Carolina? I haven't found one yet. Oh, okay. I don't think we do. I love that you have an aspirational answer, your angel, and then your indulgent answer. That's you know, good. always got to shoot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then your next one's your favorite quarantine activity. Oh, so my moment. favorite my my favorite quarantine activity. I'm so glad that I did this. I'm so glad to talk about it on your try things uh, <laughs> uh, show. Um, is that I bought Animal Crossing and oh, I yeah. bought it. I bought it. Well, it came out like right at the the start of COVID nineteen lockdown mm -hmm. or shutdown in the U S. And I wanted something to kind of uh, to try something new. Um, I don't have very many games for my Nintendo Switch, and I wanted to diver diversify and have something else. Um, so I bought it. It cost a lot of money, but um, <laughs> it was really, it was, I feel like it's worth it. Like, they update it with new cool things to keep you occupied and um, engaged. Um, but it's so beautiful, too. It's so cool to have, like, the beautiful scenery, um, and the the music is so calming. It's so cute. Um, sometimes, like the villagers, um, my villagers on my island will sing, and it's it's like really cute. It's wholesome. It's like, it sounds like it's very wholesome. It's like <laughs> it's so nice to have in juxtaposition of all the yeah madness out in the That's world. That's what I'm hearing. That Animal Crossing is like a really nice mental break. That is like wholesome. I've heard people have like weddings on animal crossing <laughs> yeah. on reddit i've seen that <laughs> yeah that's so, adorable yeah. so we've covered snacks oh and your favorite quarantine purchase maybe there was like a tool or package or oh was it it was an animal crossing it was it was that but also um i just bought um oh oh you have it <laughs> i just happened to have it i didn't know but so and this is not a sponsored uh yes video but i just bought this um body oil from jaden fox i this love actually it works i love it yeah for this flavor is crush body oil and it smells so good it smells so i've not this is my first time getting like a body oil type situation mm -hmm. um you don't really hear too many guys investing in cosmetics like these but mm -hmm. um i wanted to do something special for myself you know we've you know, we've had a lot of crazy stuff happen this yeah. year, and I wanted to just treat myself, but mm -hmm. also support a Black business, because that's oh, what Jaden awesome. did. So, I love that. Jaden Co., or excuse me, Jaden and Fox Co. Jaden so, Fox Co. Gotta yeah. look at that. And they frequently sell out, so okay. um, if you see something that you're interested in, just sign up for, like, whenever it's available, and they'll let you know. They tend to, like, replenish really quickly, so. That's so awesome. And then the last and easy question is, tell me about either your blog or your brand or a project. Well, <laughs> I also have to... <laughs> Love it. <laughs> well, it's, it, this wasn't planned, y'all. I promise. <laughs> um, I have my book available. Love it. Um, tell me about it. This is it, your first one or your second one? This is the first one. Um, I see now. <laughs> I love it. Um, I have it. Yeah, you do. Thank <laughs> you for buying. Thank you for supporting an independent yes, business. Of course. Uh, I, you know, a few years back, I designed and wrote this, uh, this book of poetry about the dissolution of a relationship and how when that happens, a lot of, when you're grieving that, a lot of other things just pop up and bubble to the surface. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, things that you didn't realize were still in the back of your mind or still on your your subconscious mm -hmm. so the, the book kind of explores what happens when that happens um and then just you know just going through the journey of that um and eventually you find your way if you work through your problems you, you eventually come out of it so um the book that i'm working on right now is actually an expansion of that book so it comes out in september of this year that's poetry Yes. I love it. Poetry. I'm proud of you. 
Thank well, you. Where can people find you? They can find me um, at trevorwagner.com and um, the link will be in the description. <laughs> I will link it below. <laughs> <laughs> my name is hard to spell for some people. Um, it's just a couple extra letters. Um, but you can also find me at Trevor Union on Instagram and Twitter. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining me and trying yeah. vegetable chips. They're basically a salad. Yeah, yeah. basically. I can put them in a the bowl. <laughs> Add some salad dressing. Well, I love you so much, and I will catch everybody else on the internet some other time. But see you also on the internet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just hanging out. All right. Bye. Bye. So that's it for me for Try Something New Tuesday. I hope to see you next week. I'm not sure what is in store for me this week. Uh, tomorrow I'm reporting for jury duty and if, if I get dismissed then I might be joining um, a friend, a couple of friends um, in a remote cabin or I'll be stuck in jury duty all week so we'll see what happens but regardless you'll see me next week for another episode of Try Something New. Um, go ahead and leave a comment if you tried something new this week and what what it was. Tell me what it was like. If you liked it, if you do it again. Um, you can find me at Linda Eats World on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and GirlEatsWorld.co.